morning everyone. Good morning. Howdy. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, Sunday the 18th of March 2012. And you can tell it's spring. The Grand Prix are back. Uh, I saw it up until the safety car. And it was actually enjoyable. It was actually a race. It was actually good. Too many actually is there. And, um, well, the Spoons Beer Festival is on. That's why I'm heading up the hill. Slightly earlier, but less so than last week. To the Malcolm Uphill to have some beer and a tech Sunday with a young colleague. Or something like that, anyway. And here goes the rant. Four square. I have done everything that's in the fact. And I still can't get you to post directly to Facebook. It stopped last Tuesday and it hasn't started again. And please not do not deem it solved when it obviously isn't deemed solved. <sighs> Everything else works. So it's either you, them, them being the Facebook brothers, or a combination. But please do not close it because you think you sent out the fact and it's fixed. That reminds me of someone else. I think you'll probably guess who that is. Anyway, here we are. Ramp semi over, approaching the Malcolm Uphill and the Real Ale Festival. Real Ale is beer. B-I-E-R, as they say in the Bundes Republic. Okay. On the beer festival. And it's American. Howdy again. Smutty Nose Brewery. Um, Mullican Mild. I've got to be honest, it doesn't look like a mild. 4.2% um, alcohol by volume. We shall taste. Ooh, spillage. That's an ale. Actually, a little bit creamy, nicely pitted. Yeah, that's not mild because of the bitter. But yeah, it's a B plus. It's a good start. How do you get? Best brewed in the UK. And this is number two, and I'm here with a young colleague who's eating horseradish out of a sachet. Um, but he has to do that because he's waiting for his ice cream sandwich. Anyway, number two, Everard's Gallantry, 4.8% alcohol by volume. Described as a nail, looks like a nail. Um, I think the Brits know what nail is. Let's have a try. in the aftertaste, nicely bittered. Mm. It's sort of almost a B plus. And uh, this young gentleman is still going on the horse radish. Would have thought. <laughs> I'm frightened. I'm extremely frightened. This isn't good for a Sunday morning. Anyway, um the beer. Yeah. Almost B plus. So um here's my breakfast, extra butter and cooked tomato. Uh, lots of toast. Here's a young colleague, uh, very similar, except those sausages are vegetarian. What do you think of vegetarian sausages, sir? I think they're delicious, and I think everyone should have some. I have nothing against vegetarian sausages. Uh, here's my um, vegetarian eggs, which I will dip my sausages in, or something like that. I'm beginning to talk nonsense, aren't I? Usually. <laughs> yeah. Anyway. Um, Back soon. And number three from Flanders. Uh, although I have suspect that it's brewed in this country. John Martin's Pale Ale, five percent alcohol by volume. It's difficult to tell, but that is distinctly amberish. And there's a young chappy here on his note, moving away like the wind. That is creamy, 
I don't know, it's a sort of difficult tower, but it is nice. It is slipping down like the wind. Um, this is for, I can't remember his name, but you know who you are, Big Tone. That's another B plus.